That's why we do what we do. I'm Joseph Browning. I'm from the Fairfield County, Westchester County office, and I'm a mitigation tech supervisor. Basically, I just go around day to day making sure all of the jobs are going well, checking in on all of the other technicians out there. If they need anything, I help them. Um, taking care of the warehouse, making sure all the supplies are up to date and all that stuff like that. I worked for a huge condo complex. I did property maintenance. They had 2,500 homes, so I basically just took care of the homes. Almost the, kind of the same thing, but there I did more of the reconstruction side, like fixing things and building walls back. Where here, it's totally different than that. I came to Paul Davis because I wanted a job that was going to give me the opportunity to grow within the company. Um, the other job was kind of just flat-toed, you were in one position and that was it. And since I've been here in the short time, I've gotten my award and I've been promoted to supervisor in 15 months. I just showed up every morning, I'm usually the first one in, the last one to go out. We had an incident where a couple of the guys were out. One of the guy had surgery and there was only two techs and it was only two of us that really got through all of the jobs. And it was long days, hard work, but I just went in every day, same time, and just did what I had to do to get the job done and bring the pride of Paul Davis into the home and make people happy that they chose Paul Davis over another company. There was one job that I went to, um, an elderly lady who lived alone. She didn't even realize the sewer backup came out of all three of her toilets, flooded her entire house. She was panicking, didn't know, and you know, being she lived alone, she couldn't really walk around that well. So I just made her feel comfortable. She would call me every morning, every night, just to find out what's going on. And I was always there for her. And she was very happy with the results, you know, and I made her feel comfortable and walked her through and put her at ease that she was going to be okay throughout this whole process. I think you need to have compassion. You need to have compassion, you need to want to help people. You know, because setting up equipment and tearing out a wall is really not that hard to do. You really need to have the compassion for the owner and the understanding of what they're going through and comforting them to make them know that they are okay and they're going to be okay. The guys that I work with, we are a tight knit. We, we were basically our family. We come to work, we joke around, we laugh. We'll go to get to the jobs, we'll get the jobs done, but it's, you know, even after work, we'll talk to each other on the phones, we'll, you know, go and do things together. As, so it's, my office, it's really well, and I, I think I have the best mitigation supervisor. Well, now he's a mitigation manager, and um, he's the one who hired me, and I appreciate everything he's done for me, and got me through all of this and showed me the way to be.